Greetings. May I express thanks and gratitude to all of you for coming out this morning to honor Brockton First Poet Laureate Philip Haswist. We will learn a little bit about him and have him read one of his poems and formally recognize this distinguished and compassionate poet as our first poet laureate. The position of poet laureate has a long and distinctive history and tradition in this country and in many others. It is an official position conferred on a poet who has shown high quality in the poet craft and who has promoted the love of poetry and the participation of poetry within neighborhoods and communities in the city that he or she represents. In short, to make poetry visible to all. Philip has done the work of the poet laureate in our city for a long time without the official title. The ceremony today changed all of that. After he became the winner of a citywide contest, we can officially name him the poet laureate of Wharton, Massachusetts. I will be your host today for this ceremony. Again, I thank you all for showing up for this occasion to honor and formally recognize Philip Hassel. Let's get started. To start with our program this morning, we shall call Father Michael Horemedis for invocation prayer. When a priest starts carrying safety pins, we've got problems, but anyway, let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord God, our God, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day which you've bestowed upon this wonderful city, this great city, historic city of Brockton. We've come, O oh Lord, to praise and give thanks for your servant, Philip Assurus, the first Port Laureate of our fair city. O oh Lord, we ask you to bestow upon him the knowledge, the grace of David, your great poet. Through poetry, we have laughter, we calm sorrow, we lessen tension. Through poetry, through the word, O oh Lord, you give us the joy which is felt from generation to generation. Yes, Lord, we thank you again for this day. We ask you again to continue to bestow upon Philip and his children and grandchildren, family and friends, all the good blessings which come from above. This we pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. God bless. Wow, this is great. This has been about 15 months in the making. Um, on behalf of the city of Brockton, the Honorable Mayor Robert Sullivan, on behalf of the Library Board of Trustees, on behalf of the Library Foundation, and on behalf of the uh, staff of the library, it is my privilege, my honor, to welcome you today to the Brockton Public Library. Thank you. Philip was one of the first people to walk through my door, my office door, some five years ago and introduce himself and bring a concept to me about bringing poetry back into this library. And I listened and, and I followed along and since then we have done events of uh, Everyone Has a Voice, we've done events featuring poets from all over, the, all over the globe, speaking in their native languages and in English. We've done events with the Brain Injury Association. We've done amazing things. Philip has done amazing things. And I just want to point out that behind me 
is the Everyone Has a Voice uh, banner that we put, we put up for every, every event that we do uh, monthly. So with that, I welcome you all to the Brockton Public Library. Thank you very much. Now it's, it's time, we're gonna hear Miss Lucia Shannon for the Library Foundation. Hi, I represent the um, Brockton Library Foundation. Uh, it's, it's an honor to be here. Uh, it's it's um, such an awesome opportunity to be part of uh, this dedication. Uh, uh, something totally new for the city and hopefully will be something that will continue on for years and years. Um, I, I just uh, think it's, um, it's a great thing for the city, uh, a great uh, opportunity to, um, to demonstrate uh, that each one of us um, present uh, is, is such a, a proponent for literacy. And that's basically what uh, the Poet Laureate is, uh, just a huge proponent of literacy. Great statement for the city. Thank you. Now it is time to hear our Mayor of Wapton, Mayor Wabbit Sullivan. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is a special day in the City of Champions, and I welcome each and every one of you to, in my humble opinion, the most wonderful library in the United States of America. Uh, it's historic. Andrew Carnegie gave us the money. But I want to thank, first of all, the elected officials that are here. Councilor Azak is here. State Senator Michael Brady is here. State Representative Jerry Cassidy is here. Former school committee member Tony Donegan is here. We have Pastor Reed here. We have Pastor Cherry here. We have Father Michael here. We have, of course, Pastor Paula Cape here. But more importantly, I want to thank you for being here today. This is, like I said, a historic day. Um, the Library Foundation uh, has been able to really come up with a wonderful endeavor. And I want to thank the Library Board, uh, led by uh, Jocelyn Meek and Lisa O'Donnell, who's here. Um, they've taken a formal vote to ratify this. And I'm very hopeful that in the next two years, because Philip has a wonderful two-year term, that the City of Brockton will be able to put an ordinance on the book to, to clarify and ratify this wonderful position so it will go forward in a legally standpoint um, for many, many, many years to come. But I'm here today as, as I guess I'm, my title is mayor, but I'm just here as, as Bob from Brockton. And I've been in this library many, many times with my three children. And I'm going to make a plug right now. Before you leave, there's a book sale downstairs. So please buy books <laughs> for the library. I, uh, this is without question uh, a wonderful, wonderful endeavor. The library has done wonderful things during COVID. And we're doing something today that will far reach the ramifications of COVID. Uh, Philip uh, is just a wonderful person. Uh, I'm really pleased that Father Michael has come back to Brockton. Father Michael has left Brockton and the Greek Orthodox Church to go to the college in Brookline. Uh, but Father Michael came back here today out of respect for Philip and the city of Brockton. So um, I would like to at this time ask Philip to please come forward. Um, it's an official citation today. Uh, and it's be it known that the mayor of the city of Brockton hereby extends his appreciation to Philip Hasaurus in recognition of your nomination and designation as, as of Poet Laureate by the Brockton Library Board of Trustees. Thank you for your outstanding contributions to the community. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of our collective appreciation. It's duly signed today, the 28th of day of August, 2021, by myself, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton. Thank you. So I, I do just have to, unfortunately, go to another event at 1030 at Trinity Baptist Church. Um, but again, I support this wholeheartedly. I thank Philip for his endeavors, what he's done in the past. But more importantly, we all look forward to what he's going to do in the future. So God bless you, Philip, and thank you. Thank you. At this time, we're going to hear Professor Trice. And he is, uh, my son told me he's the greatest professor in the whole world because he think that he was his professor, and he learned a lot from him. Professor, we we'll give you the chance. Your son was a great student. <laughs> 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 
To read a Philip Hesaurus poem is to take a journey through a landscape of love, tragedy, and hope. Philip's poetry is exquisitely attuned to the life he has lived. His first book, Swimming Alone, deals unflinchingly with the conjunction of love and loss. His second collection, Blow Out the Moon, is his courageous response to the tragic anoxic brain injury suffered by his wife, Linda. This book led to his innovative work with the Brain Injury Association at their support group gatherings and caregiver conferences. His most recent book, Light of the Moon, follows him through the death of Linda and his journey through the ensuing stages of grief. Mr. Hussaurus has been a leader in the Brockton area poetry scene for many years. He was poetry coordinator of the, for the Brockton Poetry Library series from 2004 to 2009, as well as for the Library Poetry series, Everyone Has a Voice, beginning in 2017. He has also been poetry coordinator for the art poetry project, Soar Without Limits, Heal Through the Arts, coordinating or artists with disabilities and poets who, inspired by their artwork, create poetry validating the artist. With the cooperation of their teachers, students in Brockton Public Schools have been able to work with Mr. Hesaurus in the classroom to discover the power of poetry in the spoken word. Philip Hesaurus is committed to the restorative power of the arts, and he is a facilitator of expressive healing workshops that include re recognizing bullying and its effects on the everyday lives of our youth, creating a non-judgmental, safe environment for life and creativity to flourish. Uh, I'd like to welcome Mr. Hersoris up to the podium now. He's going to share one of his poems with us, I think. Congratulations to our first. <laughs> well, this is overwhelming. Thank you all for coming. Just about an hour ago, I was cutting and packaging meat, grinding hamburger. Looked at my watch and put on my Sunday to go meeting clothes. And here I am, about to become Brockton Poet Laureate. And when this is over, I'm going back to work. <laughs> Not because I have to, because I want to. But that's who we are, Brockton, a working class city. We finish the job. That doesn't mean we are not creative, artistic, inspiring. And you have proven that today. Let that sink in for a minute. Today, you validate me as a poet, not only myself, but to all the poets who share their work in libraries, bookstores, coffee shops, bars, open mics, chat rooms, classrooms, and new to our vocabulary, Zoom rooms. <laughs> For them, I thank you. A heartful thank you to Father Michael. In your life's journey, our paths crossed. This was fortunate for me and everyone you come in contact with. Your optimism is boundless. We miss your hugs. Thank you to Mayor Sullivan for your insight, resolve, and leadership in guiding our community through the stable and turbulent breaths of a city. The Brockton Library Foundation for appointing me Brockton's first Poet Laureate. I look forward to working with all avenues of the city that we bring Brockton the recognition it richly deserves. Please acknowledge our main cheerleader, Ann Beauregard. <laughs> Thank you for your dedication and drive, and Pastor Joseph Polycape for his faithfulness and passion. I am profoundly grateful to both of you in heading the search committee. And of course, the committee members, Timothy Trask, Jean R. Cherry, and Joseph Polycape for selecting me.
Brockton High School English teacher, Deidre Smith, for nurturing her students and allowing me to share my poetry with them, together creating remarkable poems that gave them the confidence to express themselves and to heal some wounds. For my late wife, Linda, who believed in me and encouraged me to share my poetry. It was right here at the Brockton Library that I read my first poem outside of the house, much to the delight of Linda. One of the most terrifying things I've ever done. The other, helping raise our daughters, Caitlin and Sarah, both poetry and daughters, turned out pretty good. Your mother is very proud of you, as I am. To everyone who encouraged and supported me, just to name a few, Sheila Twyman, Mark Lindy, Dana Rowe, Nancy Brady Cunningham, and Joyce Wilson. I am truly humbled. And a special thank you to the people who doubted my ability. You humbled and motivated. For Mary, I'll still be jumping, and I do mean jumping, out of bed two, three o'clock in the morning to write. Thank you for your understanding and patience. <laughs> Director of the library, Paul Engel who supported our vision for Brockton to be inclusive, diverse, and to encourage all forms of expression. Together, we created our monthly poetry series, Everyone Has a Voice, with my co-host, Ali Brioso. We gave a microphone to anyone who wanted to share their stories, emotions, and our belief in one another our yearly tribute to our culture and diversity, voices of diversity, voices of America, poets reading in the language of their heritage, honoring their ancestors. And with Sandra Topalian, my partner in bringing a voice to the disabled, we soar without limits and heal through the arts, artists with disabilities creating art, Poets inspired by the art, writing an original poem, resulting in a culmination of symbiotic artwork, result connecting poet and artist. Thank you, Paul. I and the city will be indebted to you for your commitment to our city, our community. As you have heard, Quite a few people have guided my poetry journey, which tells you, Brockton, I cannot do this alone. Yes, Brockton, I need you. I need your help to advocate for our city, our art community. Come to our poetry readings and listen to our poets' words and emotions. Visit our art galleries and museums and experience the artists, painters, sculptors, our history, seek out our symphony, and feel the maestro musicians and music. Our library, where thousands of books are waiting for you. Don't be afraid to unlock your mind, to discover, challenge your imagination of what can be. The possibilities are endless. Most of all, let us celebrate our youth by encouraging them to create art, music, words, so that they can express themselves and we can learn from them, create a future like no other. One of my first actions will be to go before the city council and start the process to appoint a youth poet laureate. Yes, students, we are coming for you. <laughs> We 
We are forming a committee as I speak, and we will have a poet laureate representing our city and our youth. In conjunction with Massasoit College, please welcome Mark Welsh, Professor of English. Sasan Zahara, Chair of the Elementary Education Department, Professor of Arabic and ESL. And Catherine DeMarca, Faculty Advisor for the Student Performing Arts Club and Professor of English. So, one word I have been repeating over and over is our. This, this is not mine or yours, his or hers. This is our city, our community. Together, let us build a lighthouse, a beacon for our city to shine. Let us plant the seeds to grow a shade tree so that all poets, artists, painters, musicians, sculptors, dancers, storytellers, dreamers can gather and share their wonderful gifts. I believe in you, Brockton. I appreciate you. Be safe. Be well. Always be. Thank you for listening. And please allow me to end with this poem, written especially for Brockton. I am a Brockton boy, proud of my city streets, born to parents from a foreign land, drawn here to find prosperity. I am a Brockton boy, raised in the city's bosom, Walnut Street, Ash Street, Kensington Place, Park Road. Infancy, childhood, youth, adolescent, adult. I am a Brockton boy, educated in the streets, playgrounds, schools. Aware that my city welcomed all ethnicities, nations uniting, sharing their customs, dignified heritage. I know how to swear in 10 languages. <laughs> I know the taste of diverse cuisines. I know my heart and spirit have been crushed, then raised to feel the blessings of forgiveness. I know the city that experienced adversity and with a one, two punch uppercut, coming off the ropes beating back misfortune to be the champion time and time again and again. We will not be counted out. I'm a Brockton boy, married, uniting two cultures, raised two daughters, fulfilling a promise to our ancestors to pass along my respect for a city that shaped values, how to be human how to pay it forward. My daughters now are teachers, caring and sculpting our children's future. I am a Brockton boy raised into a city built on hard work, a city of honor, a city like no other, welcoming with an open heart, but with a firm hand, the brick and mortar of this city, line the streets with the calloused hands, laying the foundation of stories passed down from generation to generation. A city tough as leather reshaped with the toil, sweat, tears, and determination that embodies the soul of a people uncompromised. A city that puts one foot in front of the other. This city, resilient, that has given me the life experience to proclaim, I am a proud Brockton man.
Don't you think Philip was born to become a poet? He did a wonderful job, isn't he? Now it is time to hear our wonderful elected officials. We thank God for them, and they have been doing a great job, and today we're lucky to have them here. Thank you, and I am honored to be here as your state senator. As the mayor mentioned earlier, this beautiful building was built with a grant from Andrew Carnegie over 100 years ago, and we've had many celebrations here. And then later on, thanks to um, many advocates, many people in this room, people like Mary Virginia Curtis, who's no longer with us, which was a big advocate. We worked and, and we were able to uh, work with Senator Tom Kennedy, which thank goodness that uh, Representative Cassidy filed legislation to get the library named after Thomas Kennedy because he was one of the biggest advocates for this library and we were, were able to get funding from the state to put a beautiful addition onto our library, which as beautiful as it was, was never handicap accessible. So never mind Senator Kennedy couldn't get in the building without getting help from people like Jerry Cassidy and many of our friends helped carry him up the stairs in the wheelchair. Young children could even get into this library. And he was a big advocate and we went into the state house several years ago with Mary Virginia Curtis having these little candy hats. And those of you in the audience that may remember that, it said, have a heart, support our libraries. And we overturned a former governor's veto to not only support a Brockton library, but other libraries in the Commonwealth to get funding. And what a beautiful addition it is. And we must never forget those that have come before us that have put their life on the line to support the library. And thank you to all of the people in the audience and all the people who advocate on behalf of the library. And I want to say thank you to Honorary Ann Beauregard because uh, as a former Ward 5 counselor and, and as an employee here and an advocate with the Brockton Library Foundation, I don't think anybody has more energy than the Energizer Bunny advocating on behalf of the library. And I also want to recognize Phyllis Ellis from the NAACP in Brockton, the president, because she's been a great advocate in our community as well and for the library. So I'm just honored to be here. And I've heard so many wonderful things about Phyllis Hesosaurus, and we, we recently broke bread on a very holy day at the Greek church recently. We, had, we broke bread and had a little bit of lamb, not too much, because we know I can afford to lose some weight. But it was a very holy day for, for St. Peter's Day and St. Despina's Day, and to honor the Virgin Mother Holy Mary. So uh, it was a great event, and I've learned so much about Phil over the years, and all the friends that you've grown up with, like John Kalanziani and all our other friends, you were in the neighborhood with them and so forth. So we had a great conversation that day at the church and I was honored to be there. I also want to invite up Representative Jerry Cassidy because we work together in the state house and I have a citation from the Senate, but Representative Claire Cronin has a citation from the House and I'm going to have Jerry present that. And we have Rep. Dubois, we all work together and we have a great delegation from the state house and working to get funding for our community in Brockton. So, so if you wouldn't mind coming up, please. The first one is from the State Senate official citation, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends congratulations to Philip Hesaurus in recognition of your dedication, volunteerism, promoting the arts and culture of Brockton and on being nominated as the city of Brockton's first poet laureate, signed by the Senate President Karen Spelka, the clerk Michael Hill, and myself, Mike Brady. Congratulations. And I do have to say, as Phil mentioned, you know, I took two years of French and I'm part French Canadian. I took two years of Spanish in high school, but I learned more Greek from growing up with the Greek community in my neighborhood. I used to go to the Greek church and Warren Avenue and the Greek dances. And of course, I have to confess, the first two words I learned in Greek were Swiss as well. So uh, but, uh, I'm going to pass it over to our good friend, Stay. Jerry Cashman. Thank you. I am a Brockton boy. I tell you, Phil, that was absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm just a, uh, in awe of it. And uh, I've known Phil since uh, the 70s, 80s. I used to be the racquetball club uh, uh, pro at the racquetball club. And Phil was a uh, member and he played uh, racquetball. He was also a student. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but it, it was just like poetry in motion watching Phil play. It, uh, it, it was amazing. And a uh, good and decent person, I tell you, Brockton through and through, as we all are. Thank you. 
Thank you. Congratulations. But I do have a uh, citation from the uh, House of Representatives from Michelle DeBoer, myself, and uh, Claire Cronin. Uh, Commonwealth uh, House of uh, Reps, be it hereby known that to all that Mass House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Phil Hosaurus on your racquetball. No. <laughs> <laughs> In recognition of its election as a uh, 2021 Poet Laureate, laureate of the city of, uh, uh, city of Brockton, the entire membership extends its very best wishes. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm Shirley Azak, I'm the Ward 7 City Councilor uh, in Brockton, and it is my honor to be here today in, um, in my favorite city, my favorite building in the city, and honoring one of my favorite things, which is the arts. And Philip here has mastered the art of words. And um, so it brings me great pleasure to present to him this citation. So, Philip. This is the official citation. Be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Philip Hosaurus in recognition of becoming the City of Brockton's first Poet Laureate. And be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Council and attested to and um, thereof as transmitted by the clerk of the council. So it is um, signed by the president of the council, uh, Councilor Fawo, our clerk, Mr. Cruz, and myself. So it is my pleasure to present this to you. We are very proud of you. We look forward to And I think uh, Philip is going to inspire a lot of people to really continue this because that poem, and I know he has books uh, that you also have books here that you've uh, published. This is um, this is amazing, and uh, we're very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like for you to please applaud yourself for being here. This is great. <laughs> So on behalf of the city of Brockton and the poet laureate judges, Professor Tim Trask, Reverend R. Jean Cherry, and myself, Joseph Polykip, we would like to thank all of you for coming and make this ceremony a success today. And we also would like to thank the um, our sponsors, the, the Brockton Library Foundation today that will hand our uh, Poet Laureate a check. And we also would like to thank uh, the Baguette uh, Bakery. Today we're gonna have some cake. I hope that you don't leave without getting some of it. And a special thanks to Frank uh, Siafella for making that to making sure that everything went as planned and he's he, like while he was walking doing his best with a, with a can but he was carrying the chairs up here that was wonderful let's please upload him together <laughs> and we would like to thank our library director and uh, Paul uh, Engo and his uh, staff for helping us to get this wonderful place, the, uh, this uh, call at Gallery, where we are here today. Isn't it wonderful and beautiful? So we thanks, thanks them for that. And we are <laughs> when we also thank each one of you who always, always, always willing to support the library of Boaton. This is the greatest library, and we all, like myself, who came to the United States and came here, did not speak English. Without those kind of places, we would not be able to know a word of English. For me to stand here with you today, it's because of those wonderful library. <laughs> Thank 
a special thanks to Boaton Community Access and a special thanks to Tele Boaton that are here today with us. And thank you again, everyone that is taking a picture. And I hope that before you leave, you uh, take some refreshment with us. And we now shall hear, at uh, least send to Pastor Cherry to pray and give the final benediction for us. Let's upload ourselves here again today. And thank you. Since you know we're living, so I'm going to ask everyone to stand so I can pray for you. Dear and Heavenly Father, I thank you for today, for this morning, uh, because you are the one who gave us this day. And you already said that this is the day that uh, you have made. Uh, we will rejoice and be glad in it. That's what we're doing right now at this library. And I thank you especially for being a member of the team to nominate Philip as the Poet Laureate, the first one in Brockton. We thank you for that. We ask that to bless each and everyone here this morning and may his work inspire all the children in our city, great city, to become poet, to continue so our city can be a city of poet. We bless uh, this day and we bless that uh, all the members of the team who put this together this morning and I would like to thank all the elected officials uh, our mayor, our senator, our representative, and our uh, counselors for being here today, and each and every one of you, all the pastors. We thank you, Lord. We ask that you continue to bless each and every one of us. As we're living, we ask you that you can bless the day so we can spend the rest of the day under your protection. Bless us as we're living. Now, May the Lord keep us, may his grace shine upon us, may he give us his peace. Be in peace. God bless you.